and now it's recording. Okay? So, whatever way you choose to record, <laughs> whether through laptop, whether through a tablet, or whether from a video camera, um, once you've got your file, your recorded file, you can just put it up the way you like to, uh, the way you want to, or you can, you know, drop it in to, I'll just take, I'll just take this one, it's a perceptual mapping, okay, no, let's not take that one, let's take, um, I'll take, I'll take one that I recently did, uh, on digital marketing, so, there we go, writing for digital, okay, and you just drop it in, to, this is, yeah, movie maker, and then pop, it comes up, and now, so if it's an AVI file, um, there'll be no processing required, but if it isn't, it'll need to process first, to put it into AVI, and you can see it's quite long, now let's say, ah, I want to, you know, I'm listening, I'm, okay, so I can hear, and let's say the first bit, I want to cut out, because it's wasting time. Then I stop at the place where I want to to um, to cut it. I right click on it, and I simply say split. And let's say I want to cut out that beginning part. Then I'll just right click on it and say remove. Done. Now let's say I found the place where I played a video, but I want to actually put the actual video into the into the the clip and not the the video that was recorded from the laptop. <coughs> well, I want to put in another video. It's how you're talking and you're like, you refer to something that you don't really have on you yet. And you guys, go watch that video. <laughs> right? Uh, I sometimes do that. So now you can actually put the video in there. So you'll say right click and split. And then let's say, like I was telling you guys about Samsung video. You know, there's a one minute little Samsung advert. And you can just drop it in there. And there you go. There's the little uh, advert. Now, when you're talking about it in the video, now it come. Now the actual video comes up. So it's like a movie, basically, uh, in a way. Um, and so that's very versatile. And then let's say you know you finished you finished editing, and this can take a bit of time, depending on. Oh, if you are going to edit, here's a tip, <clears throat> and I only realised this tip later. So there were certain times that I knew I want to cut that out and I want to cut that out. So after, but afterwards I would have to go through the entire video to find out where those parts were. So then what I did was, while I'm, while I'm lecturing and I know it's recording and I know I want to cut this whole piece out, I just look at the time on my computer and I just write down the time. Because then I know I can just scan through quickly to the time where I know I want to cut that piece out. So this makes it a lot quicker for later on. Um, and then here's the here's the beauty of this. Um, yeah, you can well you can save it for different devices, so you can save it for a computer. Oh, maybe I can just show you what it kind of looks like. So you can see there, that's exactly what it's going to look like. That's what it records like, and that's what it's going to look like on the screen. Someone help out with a video. Seven you can, point. You can hear the voice. Okay, so it records quite well. Um, and then so you're going to save it. So you save for my co for computer and it's you can choose the file either an MPEG file I usually use a Windows media video file and you can choose the you know Whatever you want to call it and you can say save and then it takes a fair time to process and, and push out the file that you're looking for so it's going to actually Process it and it's going to reduce the file size and AVI files are very big. They're like gigs and gigs or well, they can be But it's now going to make it smaller um, for use by the students and then the other nice thing is you can take the entire video uh, video and you can push only you can um, process only an audio file audio only so it's the entire lecture but no video just audio and many of my students use that they would before exams they would go to sleep with me in their ears <laughs> so that it would be like soothing them I don't know, I don't know going into their subconscious or something right so on the train that's very helpful they can just listen to your lectures um, because they spend a lot of time in the train they really do so that's really helpful with the editing software and so what I did was I converted all my video lectures into audio as well so now they can choose what they want Uh, 
Uh, quicker than normal, but not to the point where it dies. No, it probably goes to about halfway if it's fully loaded, fully fully set up. But yes, make sure that your tablet is charged. Yeah, well charged if you want to do that. Uh, probably, yeah, rough, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. Um, yeah, probably a little bit less than that. Probably about a quarter. I don't know, I guess it depends on how many lectures you want to do in a day. Yeah. Per lecture, usually, that I would. Well, yeah, and then I just charge it again in between lectures and, yeah, do it again if I need to. Um, yeah. That's for the tablet. Obviously, with a laptop, no problem. You can keep it plugged in. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? Thought I don't know if there's anything else I can show you. Um, that and the fact, and it came with a stylus built in, and it had other educational functions. Uh, that's the only reason, and because it's an Android device, so there's easier hacks <laughs> for Android devices. Uh, um, Apple devices are more difficult to kind of hack and you know do other things with. Although they are, yeah, as I said, they've got that explain everything app, which I think works. I think Daniela and I checked, tested it the other day. And it seems to have worked. Right, so the one that I'm currently using to record what I'm saying now, um, Electa Live, I'm going to stop it. Okay, so if you are screencasting with Electa Live screen recorder, there are a few things that you need to make sure that you have done um, as far as software is concerned. Firstly, click on Control Panel and go to um, Device Manager, and um, you need to make sure that your device, uh, at least that your um, display adapters are updated. So if you go to, if you usually it will only have an inbuilt display adapter like that, so you just double click on that and you go to driver and you go to update driver and um, you click on this one, search automatically and it will check to see if all the drivers are up to date and it will search online. So this is very important that all your drivers are up to date, otherwise you won't really be able to edit your videos, they won't come up on Windows Movie Maker, um, and you probably won't be able to record effectively, and um, it's currently searching online as you can see. And while that's searching, the other aspect that you need to take into consideration is you need to have something called Codex installed on your computer. Now if you don't have Codex installed what will happen is um, it won't be able to record effectively using Electa Live. To get the Codex all you need to do you have to get these Codex pack, K-Lite Mega Codex pack and there are various places that you can get it from um, like over here is, an, is one place where you can get it um, but these are the guys that make it or at least that um, offer it. There's two different places you can get it from. If you go to Major Geeks, you can get it here by just clicking on Download Locations, and uh, it should download. And then you just install it and restart your computer to make sure that everything is installed and everything should work fine. So you can look for the uh, Mega Codec Pack. The uh, K Light, uh, here we go. Download K Light Codec Pack Mega. Uh, that's the one you want to download, um, which is the same as this one. And they have updates every now and again. Um, yeah. So let's just check if this one has finished checking. Okay, it's still checking, but depending on what it says, mine, are, mine, uh, my driver is up to date. So it should just come up here saying. Uh, your your drivers are fully up to date. If it's not, just um, and it says you need to update, then just click on update, and that should be fine. And then your um, Electa Live should be able to record everything effectively as well um, um, as um, Windows Media. Sorry, Windows Movie Maker will be able to um, effectively run the video that you've recorded and 
crop it and split it and cut it and maneuver it and then eventually um, export it as a Windows Media Video file or whatever other file that you'd like to do. So I'm just going to say cancel here for now. But those are the two main... Okay, it's not working. <laughs> but uh, those are the two main things that you need to do. Alright, so that should enable you to record and edit videos effectively.